All right, guys, I'm going to make this kind of brief. Just talk about a couple of other causes of tsunamis other than earthquakes. Obviously, earthquakes are the most common. Krakatoa. Krakatoa is a very interesting case. The reason why it's so interesting, a little history side note. Uh, you know, 1883, when this happened, there were actually, uh, in Africa, on the shores of Africa, washed up uh, bodies on um, these lava rafts. And they didn't know where they came from. It was kind of this weird thing. Well, it ended up tracing them back to Krakatoa, which is in Indonesia. Indonesia is in Southeast Asia. In between, basically, if you took where uh, Asia is and Australia, kind of all in between, there's where Indonesia was. A tsunami was a result of it uh, from the volcanic eruption, and basically what ended up happening is that explosion, that massive lava, and the chamber emptied underwater, causing all that water to be displaced, created a 40 mile, 40 meter high tsunami. Uh, here's actually what Krakatoa looks like. You know, here's when as it's erupting, kind of a more common image of what you might see or expect. Now, how did it actually form a tsunami? Here we go. As you take a look here, as the volcano happened, it blew off the top. This under this explosion right here is similar to what happened with Mount St. Helen, what ended up causing the tsunami waves to come from it, and that's kind of where we get it. And here's kind of the blast radiant from that tsunami. Other things are landslides. Uh, what ends up happening is that uh, the land as it kind of moves out, and you can kind of see the Hawaii Islands. So there's a couple different islands. So that's Kauai, very beautiful island. Um, Lanai, Maui, and then the big island, or Hawaii. When, what ends up happening is a chunk of the island literally collapsed in the ocean. And in doing so, due to uh, the volcanic eruptions, and sliding in the ocean can create a large tsunami. A major concern with this is the Canary Islands in Okay, uh, the last one's a really important one, is the Canary Island um, was tsunami. Uh, there was basically one about 15,000 years ago. The Canary Islands is a set of volcanic islands off the coast of Africa. And right over in here. And what ends up happening is these islands, um, because of volcanic eruption, have kind of, part of them have flanked into the uh, ocean causing tsunami. One of them happened about 15,000 years ago. That's right during the last end of the Ice Age. Uh, interesting that it happened around that time. Uh, it's easily uh, hypothesized that you know the ice age is ending, ice is melting, causing the ocean levels to rise. That rising of the ocean causes a erosion effect on the Canary Islands, and all of a sudden, a big chunk of land—I'm talking big—slides into the ocean, causing a tsunami. Um, there was a tsunami 15,000 years ago. We do think it's possible again. One of these happened about every 10,000 years, so uh, needless to say, we're, we're almost kind of due. I had a video I was going to try to find to, to get you guys to watch, to insert in here. Every time I did it, it had audio but no visuals. So what I got for you here, I'll show you in two seconds. What I want to do is I want you to Google a canary... I want you to Google um, Mega Tsunami East Coast. And if you look, there's a couple different one of these uh, articles to read. The one I want you to watch is either this one or if there's another one down on the History Channel. Either one. This one, watch the first uh, four minutes or so, and then you can kind of stop. The one on the History Channel is only about two and a half minutes. But this one's actually pretty interesting if you watch it all the way through. It talks a lot about what could possibly happen uh, to the East Coast if a tsunami hits. So please, please watch this video. There's another one a little bit further down on the History Channel. Like I said, all I did is Googled Mega Tsunami East Coast. Uh, obviously, there's a couple other ones that you need to know. Uh, Newfoundland, there's a earthquake triggered um, landslide caused tsunami, and then Papua New Guinea in 1998. Both these two events, there's about a five minute lag, and then uh, villages were actually carried out um, away. Like I said, if you want to write any stuff down, go ahead and pause this video now. I'll give you a couple of seconds, and I'm going to move on to the next slide. All right, uh, they can also happen in bays and lakes. Uh, we, 1958 in Alaska, what ends up happening there is there was an earthquake along a fault. 
loose some rock and ice into the bay and it ends up uh, a 30 meter high 100 mile an hour wave comes crashing in and uh, once again these types of events can occur. There was a video that we watched during the year with a tsunami happening when a glacier broke and fell in causing a tsunami wave to come in. Then Lake Tahoe. Uh, once again, that's an area that's a high fault activity. It's in a lake. And so basically all you need is about a 7, uh, magnitude 7 on the Richter scale. And that would believe to happen um, the next 50 years or so if it was even on a low frequency. And in doing so, it would generate about a 10 meter wave or 30 feet high. Just imagine on a lake, feet high wave that would cross the lake and cause substantial damage. Uh, that's all I got. Those are the big ones you got to know for the test. Probably going to be a matching section as usual. So uh, good luck on the test. Got any questions, come see me and uh, talk to you later.